Another variation to do unilateral pulling or pushing movement with the Cyclone 100 is attaching a handle to the carabiner that is attached to the loop rope, okay? Then once you get that, you get in the right position. We like to get in a split stance. And as opposed to do, let's say, a square pull, we like to add a little variation to make it more biomechanic friendly. And even though you start in a neutral position, as you pull, you're gonna internally rotate your forearm and bring it close to your body. Notice how your arm or my arm are close to my trunk. That is the most efficient way to generate a lot of force, you know, in order to lift, the, in this case, 65 pound dumbbell. So I'm here. And again, in a lunge stance, I'm starting in a neutral position here. As I pull, I rotate my forearm internally all the way to the front of my chest, okay? And then I repeat, okay? Now, I don't like the fact that I'm not getting a lot of extension on my arm. So I'm gonna go ahead, from here it's better, to loosen the loop, loop rope, and then pull the big rope, just to get a little more, more height. Now you're gonna see how much how much stretch do I get from my arm and my ribs? And I'm able to repeat the movement with full range of motion. And notice that I'm externally rotating and internally rotating. Okay. And then you do the same thing with your other arm. Okay. It's very efficient. It feels amazing on your joints. You feel how the rib cage opens and then contract. Okay, so great way also to develop grip strength. Like I said, not only you can do pulling, but you can also do pushing. With a little creativity, I'm gonna get the ropes outside, or spread out. I'm gonna pull with my right and my left, I'm getting in lunge stance, okay? And then from here, notice I'm almost in a punching mode, okay? I'm gonna grab the row with my right arm, and then in this position here, I'm gonna push and rotate. And I'm gonna lower my center of mass in order to do the movement. You don't wanna really be too explosive or try to jerk it, because you, you know, it's obvious that you could create a swing if, that, if that's not desirable. So again, there's another way, or another application with the Cyclone 100. Now let's go ahead and teach you how you can do rope climbing in a very efficient and safe manner.